Hi everybody, this is our raspberry, you know, speaking and, you know, I'm just gonna like, um, just follow with the theme of the uh, live stream I just had, of, like, talking about, like, books that, like, I have read, want to read, book to read, and, like, that I, like, like, you know, obviously to say like, stuff like that, so basically, you know, basically, um, one of the books that I want to talk about is a book that I read, like, in the past that, like, uh, I know I can always go back to and read over and over again. It's a, a book called Asylum. Um, I forgot who that was the, who written the book. So, um, but it's just, honestly, one of my best favorite, uh, horror books. Or, like, not horror books, like, thriller books that, like, I can honestly, like, appreciate and just love to read over and over again, obviously. So, yeah, that's just, like, one of my favorite books that I can always just like go back and read if I wanted to. And obviously I don't have it with me right here right now because it was like a few years ago and obviously I don't have it anymore. So yeah. So yeah, sorry just you know that. So yeah. Um um and one of the books that like I wanna finish reading but just don't know like when I can obviously because like, you know, I always like have like such like a hyperactive mind to point like where I, I can't sit still and I can't read a book through. But I I've been trying to finish the Cavendish book by uh, Barbara T Taylor Bradford. I've gotten pretty far. I got to like uh, chapter fifteen, which is pretty far in my opinion. But like, I, it's a good book. It's obviously like centered around like World War Two, you know, and. So yeah, it's just a book. It's not real, obviously. It's a fictional book, but like, it's just a book that I enjoy reading. But like, it's I'm just like so hyperactive in my mind. Like, I just like can't sit still for a long period of time and just read through a book. So yeah. And another book that I'm reading through, and will hopefully be able to finish too, is the you know, Whispering Dead by uh, Darcy Coates. Uh, Darcy Coates is also an amazing writer who I just started finding out, obviously. And when I found out about these books, like Darcy Coates, I also have uh, the Voices in the Snow by Darcy Coates, which I haven't started reading yet. So, um, basically, like, like, oh my gosh, like, she's like, like, Darcy's like an amazing writer who I can just like, like, I just like love reading the book that I'm reading of hers right now, just, you know, it's just, she's an amazing writer that is, like, obviously talented. So, yeah, and I got, uh, this book, which I honestly think is really cool. And honestly would love to read. It's called Before We Were Yours by Lisa Wingate. Honestly, I want to read this one, too. So, basically, um, you know, yeah, it's just very interesting books that, like, you should probably, like, obviously, you know, check out and... Basically, I got a couple of, uh, books that, like, you know, that like, I honestly would love, love, love to read and just, like, oh my god, hold on. There's actually one more, too, that I have. Where is it? Where's the other book at? Um, where I put it? It was the, um, oh, here it is. So, um, so I also have a, oops, sorry about that. So I have a, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, which... I watched the movie, The Boy in the Shrek Pajamas. It was a very good movie about, you know, what happened, basically. And just, I heard that the book was better than the movie, which the movie was amazing. You know, I loved it. And just, if the book is better than the movie, then the book has to be absolutely amazing. And I just love, I should just like start reading this after the video, honestly. Just like, because if the book is as good as the movie, I would get through this with no time, honestly, here. Like, I would just read it, and basically I also have, a uh, the tattooist of, you know, this. So yeah, just, um, I'm not gonna say the word, obviously, because, you know, I don't want to, like, have this video taken down. But, uh, basically, these are all true stories, I guess. Yeah, nah, I guess. These are all true stories about what happened, you know, during that time. So yeah, just 
would love to read this and um basically I also have The Book Thief by uh Marcus um I, I'm sorry I don't want to put the last name so I'm not going to try to say it but like I, I think there's a movie that I watched about this about the book thief and the the book thief movie was actually pretty good so yeah it's just um yeah I honestly really loved the movie and hopefully like when I start reading this book it's like just as good as um you know that like of of the movie so yeah it's just like um and it's honestly um stuff that I like to read you know so yeah so um yeah those are a couple books that, like Oh yeah, and so if any of you have catched a couple of my lives and like found out about what kind of my favorite type of game, which is uh, Left 4 Dead 2, I love zombie games. And while I was at a park, um, I don't know if you guys saw my last video, like getting a couple of books from uh, a little free library at a park, um, you would have seen that I found the zombie survival guide book and when I saw it, I was like oh my gosh I like I you know obviously it has like you know how to survive how to make you know like just think how to like just do things to like survive the zombie apocalypse and obviously you know there could be like any different types of like zombie apocalypse but it would be honestly very helpful to like have something like that and just like you know be able to uh do it so basically you know yeah honestly hopefully i will be able to uh finish you know the cabin in luck you know obviously and finish the whispering dead with the next from power one and i will absolutely be starting reading the boy in the striped pajamas so yeah i would just love to be able to like read that book because, oh my gosh, the movie was amazing, so I'd love to just be able to read it and just, you know, yeah, just be able to experience the book at, at least. So, yeah, um, you know, that's all the books I want to show you for right now. I obviously have, like, a whole bunch more, but yeah, those are just, um, the books I want to show, you know, that I'm going to read, that I have, like, that I'm currently reading. So, yeah, just... And that was basically the theme of the live stream that I just had. So, you know, basically, um, hopefully within the next couple of days, you know, I'll do another live and, uh, just, you know, be able to, uh, you know, talk about more things, you know. Obviously, you know, I'm probably not going to be in the suit the next live because, like, it gets very hot in that head and it makes me, like, not be able to breathe as much so yeah basically you know just bye guys for now hopefully you can brain fart and just like comment share subscribe you know you know basically help and check the link tree in my description go follow my instagram which is in the link tree my twitter is in the link tree like you know just you know just Check everything out. Check my Amazon wish list too, because that would honestly help me out a lot too. To be able to like get a couple things from the wish list to help with my live stream, like the microphone, a a new little uh, be able to get to the new little uh, the thing, whatever, what is it, the the little light ring. And basically, if you can, you know, check out my Patreon, check out my Cash App, PayPal, and just you know, basically just. Help me out, like, if you can, too. So, yeah. Or, you know, you can just come to my next live, you know, if you also click my, <laughs> click my TikTok, too. So, yeah, just basically, you know, just help support me. So, yeah. No. Yeah, and, um, sorry, that sounded so mean. I'm sorry, guys. You know, you don't have to if you don't need to. So, yeah, just, <laughs> bye, guys. I'm sorry.